Hello, and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics AT200 Pro. The AT200 Pro is one of LDG's most feature-packed tuners. In part one of this video series, we looked at installation and basic operation of the AT200 Pro. In part two, we'll go over some of the more advanced operations. As you recall from the first video, fully automatic tuning is very simple. Just transmit, and the AT200 Pro tunes. There are times when you may not want this behavior. To switch to semi-automatic mode, press the function key and C down, or auto. The LEDs will flash in the outer corners of the display to indicate semi-automatic mode. Now, tuning will not occur unless specifically requested. To force a full tuning cycle, Press and hold the Tune button for more than two and a half seconds while transmitting a carrier. The LEDs will cycle to the middle. Keep transmitting until the tuning cycle is complete. To request a tune from memory, press and hold the Tune button for one second while transmitting a carrier. Keep transmitting until the tuning cycle completes. You can see that for a memory tune, recall from memory is almost instantaneous. Note that when initiating a memory tune, if no match is found in memory, a full tuning cycle starts. To compare the performance of your antenna with and without the AT200 Pro's match, press the tune button momentarily to enter bypass mode. Press the Tune button momentarily again to return to active mode. In fully automatic mode, the AT200 Pro automatically begins tuning when the SWR exceeds a certain threshold. This threshold is user settable. To set the SWR tuning threshold, press Funk and L down or Thresh repeatedly until the desired threshold is shown on the display. In this example, the AT200 Pro will now begin tuning any time the SWR exceeds 2.0 to 1. While transmitting, the upper bar graph display shows the RF power. By default, average power is displayed. CQ contest, CQ contest. To toggle between average and peak, press function and then C up or peak. The falling LED display indicates peak mode is selected. Now when you transmit, a peak indicator shows the peak power. CQ, CQ. Press function and then C up again to return to average mode. Average mode is useful in modes like CW or digital. Did you know that you can select two different scales for the RF watt meter on the AT200 Pro? If you know you will be transmitting less than 25 watts, press the function button and then L up or scale to toggle the watt meter scale. On the low power setting, the watt meter now reads 0 to 25 watts. Press function and scale again to return to the 250 watt scale. In rare cases, it may be desired to manually touch up the AT200 Pro's tuning match. To do so, press the C up, C down, L up, or L down buttons to increase or decrease capacitance and inductance. Holding any of these buttons will cause it to repeat quickly. If the relays are adjusted manually while transmitting, the power and SWR are displayed instead of the relay values. The AT200 Pro automatically chooses whether to match for high impedance or low impedance antennas. To make this choice manually, press the function key and then the antenna or high low Z button to toggle between high and low impedance settings. When you are satisfied with all of your manual settings, press function and then tune or store to store the settings in a memory associated with the current frequency. This concludes part two of the AT200 Pro video series. Stay tuned for the third and final part on using the ICOM and Yaesu radio interface cables.